they are colorful they are vibrant they are attractive they are beautiful they are everything that you need to be added in your garden if you are after to make your garden looking very very good and attractive ranunculus flowers are one of the best options that i can recommend let us today see in this video how can we take care of them so that they add immense value to our garden let's get started Nothing makes me feel more happy than a happy ranunculus flower in my garden I would say and I would highly recommend that if right now it is a cool season in your place or if you live in a place which is most of the time very cold and it is spring right now you should definitely get ranunculus plant from your nearest garden center you can plant this plant from seeds or bulbs as well but it is uh, best recommended that you get a ready made plant from the nursery and just plant it because that would save a lot of time and it would be easier and you will get quick results and that will make you a lot happy so let's say you have got this plant from nursery the first thing you will do is you will repot this plant now whenever we repot this plant we need a good size pot you can also plant this plant in ground directly in the soil but the problem is that ranunculus plant they don't like too much water and if they are planted in ground they get a lot of water when they get a lot of water they start falling sick so i would recommend that plant ranunculus in pot is a better option so let's say you have a decent size pot I would say definitely the pot should have a lot of holes for drainage the soil has to be well drained soil now I have included this term well drained soil in a lot of videos if you really want to know how to make a well drained soil with the soil having a lot of nutrients what you can do is you can watch my video uh, which is uh, how, what to do after getting the nursery plant at home you can just watch that video and you will understand understand the concept of a well-drained soil with a lot of nutrients so let's say I use the same concept here my garden soil my compost and my cow manure with a lot of stones and everything I make it a well-drained soil I plant my ranunculus plant leaving at least one to one and a half inch of pot top part so that whenever I water the water stays in it and that way my plant is getting a lot of healthy nutrients and it is getting the well-drained soil at the same time to breathe properly the next thing we need to understand is ranunculus plant they love to flower and bloom a lot so that means they are heavy feeders that means we have to give them food regularly only then they will be able to flower if we do not give them organic compost or fertilizer regularly it will be very hard for them to generate flowers and then you might not like this plant if you have a look at uh, the flowers of ranunculus the first thing that comes to your mind is they look exactly like roses so if you are struggling uh, to keep a lot of roses in your garden ranunculus is the best replacement I would say because they do not require that much care that a rose plant would require and they would give a lot of flowers at the same time now three weeks ago I gave a lot of organic compost to my ranunculus plant and you can see that in one plant you can count the number of flowers that it has today what I am going to do is I am going to add bone meal powder to my plant because bone meal is again organic and it acts as a fertilizer and it will help my plant to stay healthy to fight against diseases and at the same time to bloom a lot of flowers now can you have a look at my soil it is so porous and well drained this is how your soil should be like this so if you try to form a clay it should not form like this that means it is a well-drained soil and it has a lot of minerals because I've added a lot of cow manure and organic compost. Now this is bone meal powder. Uh, if you are someone who is having no issues uh, by using bone meal, this is a very good thing I would use. So I will just add bone meal in the soil and I will mix it in the soil. Now I have added bone meal and I have mixed it properly. Now I am pretty sure and confident that my plant will bloom more and more and it is having that strength that any plant requires to have a healthy life. The next thing that we are always concerned about is water. So now we have a good pot and a good soil for our plant. Now how much water does this plant need? This plant does like water. You cannot keep the soil dry, but you cannot also overwater this plant. You have to keep the soil moist. So 
there is a thin line between moist and you know wet soil what you can do is if you have the moisture meter that's the best option and i would recommend you to get a moisture meter especially if you are a beginner if you are new to this gardening world and if you are someone who is very experienced you will understand what i always do is i'll just take some part of soil and i'll feel it from my hand i never wear gloves um, you know i just like to feel the soil from my hand and if you kind of don't feel such things you know you feel that okay this is too technical just get a moisture meter if you don't have the moisture meter for now just uh, you know dig in deep one one and a half inch or two inch in the soil and see if it is wet over there if it is wet do not water it because if you water an enculus more than what it requires it will definitely start having a lot of fungus and if you feel the soil is dry just water it now while watering please keep in mind that you are watering the soil please do not water the flowers of ranunculus or even the leaves it is not required if it is very polluted or very dusty at your place sometimes you can water on the leaves but try not to water the flowers because if you do that it invites a lot of fungal attack soil watering is the best let's say you have planted ranunculus in the ground what i would recommend is you should make that you know a little slopey or a little hilly uh, part and plant the ranunculus on the top so that when you water the water just goes on the side and it does doesn't stay with the ranunculus especially if it's raining a lot at your place now we know that ranunculus plant loves flowers loves flowering so definitely it needs sun if it is very cold at your place let's say below 10 degrees celsius or below 15 degrees celsius half day sun of four to five hours is good it should get direct sunlight but not for the entire day it might not like it but if it is getting three four five hours of sunlight directly the plant will be happy and it will generate a lot of flowers if you want this plant to stay for a longer period of time and it has started getting a little hotter at your place then you have to keep this plant at a place where it is getting only morning sunlight so that afternoon sunlight when it is very harsh and very hot it is not getting it that way your plant will stay for a little longer compared to other ranunculus plant and that is when planting in pot plays a major role because when you plant your plant in a pot you can shift it according to the season you can shift it wherever you want which is not the case if you plant it in the ground now whenever you see that a flower is almost done with its life now how do you know that first of all can you see this flower it has this circle you know circle thing which means it will still bloom these petals haven't bloomed completely and this will they will still bloom but if you have a look at this one there is nothing circular left in the middle that means this flower blooming is done completed and now in fact if you see over here it has started shedding the petals can you see this brown petal and these petals they have started to fall whereas on the other hand these ones they are so tight and they haven't started falling so this is a fresh flower that is the difference now why am i explaining this because this flower which is not fresh i will snip it off the reason i will do that is because the petals will start falling and they will stick to the leaves of the plant these petals they are very sticky in nature they will stick to the leaves of the plant and that invites a lot of fungal attack that invites a lot of uh, you know mites that come to the plant and then they start sticking and having said that i would also say that because the petals of ranunculus are extremely sticky if you have pets or babies at your home please make sure that they stay away from ranunculus flowers because if they eat it they will have digestive problems so you have to be very careful of this the next important tip about deadheading that i want to cover is one more thing that why we need to get rid of old flowers is that when you cut the flowers which has almost completed its life it will stop the seed formation because why a flower grows because when the flower will end its life then the next step is seed formation if you let the plant form seeds that means plant is getting an indication that life is almost done and we need to start forming seeds if you cut old flowers what happens is the plant instead of wasting the energy in forming seeds it will invest the energy in forming new buds and flowers now let's say the cool season is over at your place and you feel the plant is no more blooming please don't throw it away what you can do is just 
chop the uh, plant from the bottom part all the stems you can let's see this one you can just chop all the main stems from here and then stop watering your plant you can water the plant once in 15 days and just chop it off what happens is when the next season will come this plant will start growing and it will have fresh flowers so by this way you don't have to buy new plants every season you can just use the old plants also one more tip that i will give you is if you see any leaf in the lower part of the plant please take it off and do not let it grow because if the leaf of the plant is touching the soil this again invites a lot of fungus or if you do not want to chop the leaves every time that is a lot of work for you what you can do is you can mulch your soil you can add a layer of mulching over here and that will avoid the direct contact of leaves with the soils and hence it will avoid the fungal attack now if you are not sure what is mulching it is just a layer of dry leaves or dry organic matter which you just put it over here so that if it is very cold at your place your roots they stay warm and moist and the temperature difference of day and night that doesn't affect a lot to the roots of the plant so I hope you enjoyed this video you enjoyed this uh, you know pretty nature of ranunculus flowers they're also known as persian buttercup plant by the way and uh, i know i have said this a lot of time but these are one of those plants and flowers that i love having in my garden and they just make me feel happy uh, they will give you that sense of achievement because they, it is very easy for them to bloom a lot do get them in your garden uh, this is world environment week i would say so get a lot of plants in your life plant them inside your house around your house House. go green and i hope you stay safe and with that i'll take your leave do subscribe this channel mnmm plant uh, become a part of this plant family and i'll see you next time with the next video bye bye